was about to be killed and I didn't care. I know things that I don't need to know. I know a caliber of a grenade based on its sound. To not have cover when a sniper is trying to kill you. What mud tastes like when your face down in it because someone wants you dead. I know how thick a book should be if you need to burn it in order to cook your dinner. I know what carrying 15 liters of water for five kilometers feels like and how mad you can be when a coward shoots at you and destroys the water supply you just carried for five kilometers. This is just part of your experience in education when you're a little girl. At least it was for me. So rather than discussing all these wartime experiences in Sarajevo, here are the lessons learned. Ingenuity in the face of adversity. We were designed to learn and to be adaptable. We are designed to grow. Survival is a form of ingenuity. We have all survived something, perhaps the loss of a loved one, losing a job, an illness, a divorce. How did we do it? We just did. Productivity is a form of ingenuity. Starting a business, selling a business, writing a book for the first time. If we stopped every time something becomes difficult, then so much would never get done. Let's pretend you decided not to walk five kilometers to get water. You decided that you would rather not risk having a sniper try to kill you. That's reasonable. No one wants to be shot at. But in my case, that meant that we wouldn't have water. I wanted water. My mother, my brother, my wounded father wanted water. So I decided to deal with it. What's your water? Do you need to lose weight? Do you need to earn more money? Whatever that is, internalize it as a must. I must lose weight. I must earn more money. And here's the key. Learn to enjoy the process and be very grateful. Perspective can carry you through those very challenging times. When your heart is filled with gratitude, and with courage, there's absolutely no space for fear. I almost died, but now I am so happy to live. My innate ingenuity, especially in times of adversity, has brought me here. Yours can do the same for you.